The newly commissioned $1.6 billion mixing plant will contribute to government's aggressive food security agenda and improve the productivity of flour at the National Milling Company of Guyana, Namilco, according to Managing Director Bert Sukai. President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali participated in the commissioning of the multi-million dollar plant, where he congratulated Namilco for this significant accomplishment. The head of state also expressed that government looks forward to the company's future expansion in Guyana and commended the company's confidence in Guyana's investment landscape. Sukai further explained that the plant took two years to develop as challenges owing to unfavorable weather and logistics were inevitable. He further explained that the newly commissioned infrastructure will pave the way for more storage of wheat and flour. And this investment of eight million US dollars takes us closer to our goal of absolute customer satisfaction. We proudly stand as maybe one of the few, if not the only, mill in the Caribbean with a mixing plant. Sukai further highlighted that the new mixing plant can be operated remotely through a mobile application. This will cut the need for personnel to operate the plant manually. He also expressed enthusiasm for the multi-million dollar gas to energy project that is expected to cut energy costs by 50%. U.S. Ambassador to Guyana, Nicole Theriot, also expressed congratulations to the company for its newest venture. She added that the long-standing partnership between Namilco and Seaboard Corps is an indication of a strong relationship between Guyana and the United States. And I must commend uh, His Excellency the President for his outstanding leadership on the issue of food security. Not only is it practical, but it's humanitarian based, and that means so much. And the rest of the region sees that, the rest of the world sees that. And we're so grateful for your leadership in that regard. Chairman of the Private Sector Commission, Kamal Singh, also recognized the leadership of President Ali in creating a conducive environment for investments that will in turn promote economic growth.